Guess who got vaccinated? Yep, yep, it's your girl Phoebe. And welcome to the Phoebe way if this is your first time here my name is Phoebe and on this channel we talk about life in Germany how to navigate your life in Germany as a newcomer as an expat as an African person no matter where you are from over here we share tips on how to survive the German life okay so if you have not yet subscribed please do check out the other videos I'm sure you find something that will help you Today, as you've already seen from the title, it's all about COVID and the vaccination. How to get the COVID app, I think the vaccination app, how to go about your vaccination appointments and what you should know, what you should do, and all of that. So if that's what you're here for, stay tuned, don't go anywhere. Oh, it's windy. <laughs> so I've done this video at home, but I thought I'll do it out here as well. Let me show you guys around. I am in. Elwangen, but I'm at the train station and I thought let's try again with this video outside There you go. Nice building. I'll put some clips of um, Actually, if you want to see the vlog Go to my other channel That's where the vlog. I'm doing this video here today because not only um, have my friends asked But also other people like how did you go to Greece? How did you travel and I went to France right after that as well? How did you do it? How did you have to do it? So I'm here to tell you First question is why did you get vaccinated? I know a lot of people have doubts. Well, now it's less, but some people still have doubts. Why did you do? Why did you do? And then <laughs> some of my colleagues were thought because I have this wanderlust. I like it's a German word, wanderlust, wanderlust. Because I have this wanderlust, I always want to go out. I always want to travel, and that's why I did it. But that's not the only reason why I got vaccinated. So I got vaccinated actually because of my job. And one time I had to go do a translation in the hospital. Um, yeah, basically I had to go do the translation. The hospital was in a clinic actually and for me to be able to enter the hospital I had to take a test and I, it was such an impromptu thing and um, I was called that morning, no, the, the day before that, can you come? And I didn't, I wasn't able to do the test, obviously I have other things to do and then by the time I got to the clinic I was already a bit late, I was tired on time because of traffic and I got to, the, finally found the the entrance to the to the building I was supposed to go to, and they were like, "Are you vaccinated?" No, in Germany we have the three genes: so get tested, um, get impfed, or the genesen. So, have you been tested? Have you been vaccinated? Or have you had it and have you recovered? So, that was the three things I had none of it. Had never had COVID, not to my knowledge at least. And then I hadn't been vaccinated. I hadn't tested like 24 hours within that time either. So I had to wait and take the test, and I had to queue. And by the time I had finished everything, almost an hour had passed and I felt so, so bad because the judge was sitting in there waiting for me. The hospital personnel was waiting for me. The person I was translating, I was supposed to translate for was also sitting there waiting for me the whole time that I was delayed. And that was one thing that made me feel like, okay, if I was vaccinated, things would just go fast because I'd have at least one G that was geimpft. So yeah, and that was one, one main motivation that got me um, tested and then of course, Every time you want to go somewhere, you feel like people who are tested have more um, freedom, things are easier for them. And going to Greece definitely showed that because, because at that time I was vaccinated. I just showed my vaccination um, QR code at the airport and that was it. Every time when it had to do anything with COVID, I just showed my um, QR code and I was good to go. I didn't have to bother about a lot of things. Yes, guys, it's noon, so yes. That was it. So that is the, one of the reasons why I vaccinated and then also for friends and family. Um, family, like you have, we have older people in the family, elderly people in the family, we have little kids in the family. So every time we're going to visit a family with small children, we would go get tested. Or when we're going to visit parents, we would go get tested. So, it, you know, now I'm a bit, of course I still would get tested when I'm going to visit families with small babies and, and older, like older people who are not yet vaccinated, but now they're all vaccinated now. But you know, it makes things easier. It takes kind of the worry away. So that's why I got vaccinated. And which one did I get? I got Johnson, yes. And if you ask why Johnson, if you know about the um, the vaccines, um, Johnson is the, I think it's the only one where you get one shot. Um, the rate of protection is, I think it was between around 70%, I think. But I think of all the four, it had the lowest, but I didn't care. I can have a booster if, I, if they offer me, I'll take a booster. Well, I won't because it's still an injection but um, 
if there's no need for a booster, I wouldn't take a booster. But basically, yes. I took Johnson Johnson, and um, so far so good. I didn't have, almost didn't have any um, symptoms or any, uh, what do you call it? Nebenwirkungen. Why can't I remember this word? But I didn't have any fever, I didn't have any um, side effects, yes. Um, like my mom, she had Bantech and she had the fever, she had the pain, she was drowsy, and I think she had headache as well. For me, I didn't have anything, it was just my arm. I took it on my left arm, my arm was aching. Um, and sometimes, at the first night, I got on a Monday, so Monday to Tuesday, it felt like somebody was really just um, using a, like a, a, a saw and just cutting my arm off. That's how I felt, but apart from that, all good. Everything else was good. How did I get vaccinated and why I chose my um, personal doctor was because I tried the infant home in Germany. We have infant like the vaccination center for each um, district or each yeah for each district basically. And my um, center was always booked out and it kept putting me on the waiting list and basically it was going to be like far away. And the thing is, I finally mastered the courage to do it. I don't want to wait even extra longer, so I decided no. I'm going to go ahead and just do it. So I called my um, my doctor, my house Elstein, and then she was like, or her assistant was like, the list for BioNTech is longer. It was at that time it was June, so I got my vaccination in June, and she was like, it was going to take longer if I took um, BioNTech. So I said no, I don't want BioNTech. Anyway, I don't want BioNTech anymore because it was too short. And then Johnson, she was like, oh, it could even be that within the next 10 days you hear from me. I said okay. So actually, I think I called her on a. Uh, Wednesday and then by Monday I was supposed to, she called me back I think on a Thursday or Friday and she said you can come on Monday but if you're coming on Monday make sure you are not pregnant so I had to take a pregnancy test and prove to her that I wasn't pregnant at that time so that she would go ahead and give me the shot and yeah so I think I have a video of when I had gotten it and I was in pain and everything so what do you go with when you're going to get vaccinated? Obviously in Germany you have to go with your health insurance card, um, a health insurance membership card because you know here you have to be immediately, you have to be a member of the health insurance scheme. So I went with my card and then with my vaccination booklet. I don't have it here with me, but I, I can blend it in here somewhere. So basically it's like this. I don't know if you got it. Yeah, so this is it. And yes, I've covered my all of my details because y'all 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 so knows it, y'all so knows it. So yes. I went with that and then after that I got the sticker. This is it and I think I even have a video of it um, of my vaccination so I'll, I'll just put that in somewhere here. And then basically that was it. How do you get the the thing digitalized like the vaccination um, confirmation? How do you get digitalized onto your phone? So first you download one of the two apps in Germany. You have the COVID um, van app, local, yeah I think it's called the COVID van app. And then the other one is um, Cough Pass. So I chose Cough Pass. Um, I don't know why I chose Cough. I know why I chose Cough. I felt I just it just felt safer to me because with the Van app, you know, if somebody had COVID, they would know da da da, and the people around you would know. I felt like everybody would know my business. I felt like this, the data security there was a bit weaker. It's just my feeling. It could be wrong, but that's just how I felt. So I didn't want to do that. Um, Apart from that, yeah, I took it and it was really easy. So I went with my yellow booklet, my vaccination booklet, to the pharmacy with my ID card. And then the lady at the pharmacy, the pharmacist, she just confirmed my details. She checked my face, the person on the ID card and everything. And then she printed this paper for me. So that's the paper okay. I'm going to show you because I already filmed this at home. So I have that paper as well. So yes, that was that. And then after that, um, I got this paper and then you just scan it with the app. So you open the app, you ac um, accept the terms and conditions and then you scan it. So you didn't have to type anything, your name and everything pops up like that. I did it for my mom as well. It was easy, very easy. So guys, yes, that's how I got it and everything else went smooth and it just makes me feel good. So far, so good. Um, I did my research before that as well because with um, fertility and vaccination what was the correlation everything and I read a few posts that said that um, you didn't have anything to worry about and that is why I went ahead to get it done yeah basically that is it is there anything else I've missed no so I've told you the reason why I did it how I got um, vaccinated how I got me up my appointment and how 
I've done so far and how I got the digital app as well. So I think I've, I've covered everything. If you have any questions, guys, leave in the comment section down below. Yes, and today I'm in Elvangen. I came to work here. This place is beautiful. Beautiful. Maybe I'll just add some clips at the end so you guys can see. It is really beautiful here. And yeah, I really want to come back probably with Grace because Grace and I want to start traveling around again. So let's uh, see if that one happens. If you want to see more of me, of me, Phoebe, and not only about life in Germany um, and information on life in Germany, if you want to spend more time with me and see what I've been up to, just go on Phoebe K. I know I said Phoebe Space, but I decided I'll just go with Phoebe K because Phoebe K is easy. My train is coming in three minutes, so guys, I'll see you when I see you. No, I'll see you next Sunday. So please take good care of yourselves. So, yes, and I think I'll put up the vlog, the Frankfurt vlog as well, next Sunday. So if you have not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Please do. The Phoebe way. If this is your first time on this channel, yes, my name is Phoebe, and on this channel we talk about life in Germany. We share information on how to survive the the whole German bureaucratic thing, the whole thing, like that's what we share here. So if this is what you like to hear, this is what you like to see. Of course, we also share blogs of German cities and the German life. So if this is what you like to see, this is what you like to hear, please do want to subscribe. And thank you so so much to my returning subscribers. We keep growing. But why are you not watching? Oh yeah, watch. Watch other videos as well. Catch up with the other videos and See you same time next Sunday, guys. Ciao.